Hi. This is the YouTube channel for Math Contest Go Go Go. What I want to do for this channel is to build a platform for math lovers in order to make them discuss about different kinds of math problems. I will update a video about challenging problems every day. If you would like, please subscribe below. Now let's begin. Today let's, today let's talk about another problem that used in strings, which is called anagram checker. And this problem is in CCC year 07, junior 4. There are two strings, A and B. What you need to do is you need to find, you need to check whether all the letters, I mean, if A and B contain exactly the same number of every of letters. For example, if A have three R and four T, and B has three R and three T, then it's not an anagram. If it has four R and three T, then it's not also not an anagram. If it includes three R and four T, then it is a type of anagram. So to do this, we need to first know about ASCO code. The ASCO code is a number representation of a certain char. It's a number representation of a certain char. For example, 65 to 90 is A to Z. While 97 to 1 to 2 is small a to z. This is a problem that you need to be understand. So the fact is, when you do a thing, I mean, when you do a char, you can use this way, int string a dot char at six. This is a way to transfer from char to int. What about transferring from int char? You can just need to do this. Char t is equals to char 63a, while an a is equals to 63. So this way it can transfer from the symbols to ASCO code, which you are able to solve this problem successfully. So what we can do is like, uh, it's like we make a array from A65 to A90 to represent from A to Z. And we write from A to Z, we can just count. If this has a char number of 67, then A67 plus one. If it has, if it's Z, then A90, which 90 represent the ASCO code of Z, plus plus. We are going to make one array to a, a document, one string. And we are going to use another array to document another string. At last, we compare to them and the problem will be solved. The submission, which I... The submission, which I used only one time to pass. Let's remember, I have stated before that ASCO code has 
scales, I mean number on 65 to 90. So first we do is we print out two string and we make two array which is used to document both of the string. While A C documents A and D documents B. And we are going to make a marker called JSON. So first, what we need to do is we are going to set 0 and 100 from 0 to 100 to 0 here. You know what will happen if we don't set to 0? It will be now. When we print out, we will print out NULL now. In fact, here you can do i is equal to 65, i is less than or equals to 90, so it will be much easier. Let's start. i is 0, i is less than a to the length of string. So it just checks every char, kind of, every char in the string, every single alphabet. If it's not equal to space, then the belonging ASCII code place section of the array just increase one. This is same as the next one. As the last one, you are going to do the same thing like documentary. The last thing is you are going to check either of them. The default for JSON is false. Remember, the default for JSON is false is false. So to do this, we are going to check every one from 65 to 90. Uh, in fact, I check from 0 to 100. Uh, so here, if we check whether if there is one any one part that it does not match, then JSON just turn to true directly. It's not able to turn back to false again because I haven't made any way to make it false at here. So after we identify that if JSON is true, true, which means there are some parts that is not similar, so it's not an anagram, else, which means that every letter has the same number, which means we print out is an anagram. In fact, problems, they have many solutions, and my solution is only a part of them. If you have more ch challenging solutions, Please comment below. And don't forget, I will also post my problems there. See you tomorrow!